Chilling here with Nyams. Producer extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Gonna check out beats and the DJ. Check his cats inside on the DJ. Shot. Yeah, I'm Nyambo, aka Nyams, Victoria, producer, sometimes DJ. I think the DJ came. First, but it was just mild, it was just my, my, my brother and his friends used to DJ. So it was something that I, I always like watched. I always watched from the side and yeah I moved out to Victoria, got the set of decks and yeah. There was this DJ premiere mixtape in 97, like New York Reality Check 101. And it wasn't like the other mixtapes I I'd heard where a DJ would just cut the track and you know, drop the next track in. It was it was mixed kind of like the house DJs do, like, and that really grabbed my attention because I didn't know like that it was actually a different track coming in, like, because I wasn't like used to. I just think it was, I just at first thought it was movements in the beat or something until I realized, oh, it's, it's the next track, and like it was just really dope to hear a, a hip hop DJ mixing like that. I I I, I lived in this neighborhood in, in the free state and like there's only like two of us who listen to to hip hop and such and like one of the other guy was a writer an MC and I never I'd never I knew I'd never MC and like he was looking for beats and like I just you know figured he needs beats I like you know I've been listening to a lot of producers like I'd always like the production aspect of it so I decided to do stuff for him. The likes of Pro Kid, Pro Girl, Zabs, Dumi. I think I gave a beat CD to some guys from Squatter Camp a while ago. So, just pretty much whoever calls me for a beat. There's this DJ from Arizona called DJ Elite. When I started doing the DJ thing, he started to and kind of met online and um, he, he sent me some of his stuff and like, it was just really. Incredible DJ, definitely the gentleman over here. Uh, paper cut, uh, DJ Waxy, definitely Ready D. Um, Hammer, definitely Hammer. He's got some unbelievable cuts. Uh, side button them, they're really killing it too. Like it's very important. I always go digging. Like I was in Durban the last. I only got back last night around 11. And I, I was out there looking for records, you know, just, just, it's a big part. Like, with regards to like the sampling aspect, people think it's just an easy way out of making music, but it's actually hard to find that dope piece of music and just, you know, make something really beautiful out of it. Like, it, it takes hard work, like, I won't sample the more common stuff, I, really, I'm not, I won't sample huge chunks of it, but I'd, I'd, make a track that sounds like it was played live, like certain elements of it were played live so people can be like, I, who, who played your bass or who did, and then you'd be like, no, like, <laughs> this is just how I, I did this with my turntables and my computer, and like, and what, once people hear that, they, they're like, they're blown away by it, like, they, they start to respect the music, the start to respect the art. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Spindle. I keep doing it for the DJs and producers out there. What's up, Spindle?